Starting today, you can manage your transaction checklists, assign, rename, void, and delete. Let's take a closer look at a few real user cases. Number one, convert a listing into a sale. Once your listing turns into a sale, you need to do two things. Change the transaction status to escrow and assign your purchase checklist. In order to change the status of your transaction, click on the edit button, select escrow, and save your changes. The next step is to add your purchase checklist. Click on add, select your checklist, provide all dates required by this checklist template, and click on add. Number two, unassign a checklist from a transaction. If you assign an incorrect checklist, access your transaction, open the checklist that you want to unassign, click on action, and then select delete checklist. In case there are files attached to this checklist, the system will show you the following options. Delete all assigned documents, move all documents to the unsorted folder, select one of the options and click on delete. Number three, assign a new sale checklist. If you have already started working on your purchase checklist and then the sale got canceled, you need to restart the process and void your checklist. Open your transaction and select the purchase checklist, click on action, then select void checklist. In case there are files submitted for approval, the system will show you the following options. Mark all pending review documents as rejected. Mark all pending review documents as approved. Select one of the options and click on void. To avoid further confusion, you may rename this checklist to a canceled sale. Click on action, select rename checklist and enter a new name. Once you've accepted a new offer, get back to this transaction and assign a new copy of your purchase checklist. Thank you for watching our product update summary.